Yeah, and for the school community, this speaks to a bigger issue overall. Parents and the school board are concerned about their children, which they say are suffering amid the series of guns being brought to schools. There was extra security at Millbrook High School after a young male was found with an AR-15 weapon at a basketball game Thursday night. Some Millbrook High School students thinking about their safety after a spate of threats and guns being brought to campus in Wake County. Like they do what they can, but I feel like in this day and age, it's harder to prevent stuff like that all the time. So. It is alarming. It definitely shouldn't be normal. Raleigh police found the young person with the gun as Millbrook was taking on Hillside at a varsity basketball game. The latest incident prompting parents like Kimberly Pope to call for safer schools. We really need to have more precautionary um, procedures in place and whether that's um, metal detectors in the front doors and door barriers on the classroom doors, like every piece of um, security is very important here. I'm unsettled and, sad and saddened that we have so much work to do for our children and we cannot ignore the need for community involvement. The Wake County School District hired independent auditors to take a comprehensive look at security measures at all schools. While they say metal detectors were not recommended by the independent auditors, it's still on the table for discussion. That's our first line of defense there is when people come into, into the campus, uh, into, the, into the doors. So I absolutely support metal detectors in schools. And so as far as the young person who brought the weapon to Millbrook High School, police say he was taken into custody and was and have juvenile petitions filed against him. They also say that he was not a student at the school. Reporting in Wake County, Cindy Bate, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. Yeah, uh, metal detectors seem like a common sense solution, but we routinely hear an opposing view to that. So uh, I know it's still on the table. They're trying to work it out in Wake County right now. Cindy, thank you.